The leader of Ukraine's Communist Party has labelled Sunday's parliamentary elections illegitimate after his party failed to get a single seat in the Ukrainian Assembly for the first time since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Exit polls suggest pro-European parties will dominate the new parliament, opening the way for Petro Poroshenko to implement a reformist mandate to steer the country's geopolitical course further into Europe's orbit away from Russia. I confirm one more time that these elections can be recognised neither as democratic nor legitimate. These elections will further deepen the split in Ukraine. These elections will not stop the war in Ukraine. Representatives of the war party have fully come to power. The ouster of Kremlin loyal President Viktor Yanukovych, Russia's seizure of Crimea and Moscow's support for the insurgency in Ukraine's east have triggered a surge in patriotism across the country. Analysts say the defeat of the Russian-leaning political forces is a strong sign of Ukraine's diversion away from its communist past. I think these election results are likely to put a full stop to the history of today's Communist Party. However, there will still be attempts to restore it, renew it or create a new left-wing project because the country is connected to its Soviet past. This year, hundreds of Soviet-era monuments of Russian revolutionary leader Vladimir Lenin have been pulled down across the country, leaving only the place behind featuring the symbolic hammer and sickle.